Hi, my name is Monique. I currently live in my 2022 Ford Transit Connect van in order to save money so that I can eventually buy land and live a simpler life. And I enjoy sharing snippets of my life with you all. So I ran out of food this week. The only food I had left at this point is what you see in this video. This broccoli I had frozen. Luckily, my parents' neighbor gave it to me the last time I went to visit my parents. They have a really great garden and they gave me a bunch of vegetables and I forgot about it. So I had the broccoli in the freezer. I had a jar of artichokes and a jar of sun-dried tomatoes and just the bare minimum. And I wanted to make pasta salad with this, but I ran out of water as well. I had very little water left, so I couldn't boil pasta. So I just decided to mix whatever I had together into a little pasta-less pasta salad. I roasted the broccoli and my air fryer and then put it in this container that used to have roasted potatoes in it. I had just made the potatoes and didn't feel like cleaning out the Tupperware, so I just put the broccoli in there. I figured it would just add more seasoning because the potatoes were delicious. So yeah, I roasted the broccoli and then I just mixed in the artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, and I could have eaten it like that, but I wanted a creamy pasta -less pasta salad. So I ended up adding a little bit of yogurt and it was really delicious actually. It was really hot that day, so it was such a treat to open my fridge and find some blueberry juice I had made earlier that morning, but I had forgotten about it. I love to make juices in my Vitamix. I just blend frozen fruit with a little bit of greens like kale or spinach, arugula, spring mix, whatever. Add a little water, and yeah, just blend it up until it's, until it's a juice consistency. And that really helps me out during these hot days. One thing I've started to do while living in vehicles is like whenever I have a bag of something and it gets empty, I use it as a trash bag so that I don't have to use my actual trash bags. I can't, I can't put a bag inside of another bag. That's not easy for me to do. <laughs> like if I have an empty bag that, I, that used to be used for a product or something, if it can fit trash, I'm going to use it as a trash bag. So. That's what I've been doing with this empty pineapple chunk bag. I'm running low on water, so I'm going to use very little water to wash this. I love this bar soap that I bought. Like, it gets really soapy. I'm really pleased with it. If I remember, I'll try to leave the link to it in the comment section. That's one thing I like about the foot pump is you can really control the amount of water that you use and use a very little bit. It's like drizzles.
and washing my face and brushing my teeth. I already showered. I went to Planet Fitness a few hours ago and took a nice long shower. Put my pajamas on. <laughs> And I'm going to drive to the spot that I'm going to sleep at for the night while I'm in my pajamas. I love getting to my spot and then just having to crawl in the back and get in bed and not have to do anything. pajamas out of my blanket this blanket looks super huge but every night I take this blanket out I take my pajamas out like it gets smaller at night when it's time to sleep but during the day when I have it stuffed with everything it looks huge because Musa was asking me he was like how do you sleep on that huge thing but I don't sleep on it with all of this stuff in it like that already significantly lowered it like taking this blanket out so that's how that works but I'm going to get my pajamas and put them on and then hit the road I like to put my window shade up before I get to my spot. Particularly, it's this particular spot that I like to do that at because I'm gonna be parked on the road, like on the street, where you can just parallel park on the side of the road. I'm gonna be on the street. And not too long ago, I went there to park for the night and I didn't have my window shade up. And when I parked and I got ready to crawl in the back and put the shades up, there was a car directly behind me <laughs> and people were in it. And my windows weren't tinted at the time. My windows are tinted now, but they weren't tinted and they had their headlights on and they were coming directly into the window. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they sat in that car for about 30 to 40 minutes with their headlights and my window. And I just, maybe this was, maybe I was overreacting, but I didn't want to put my window shades up with them there because I didn't want them to see me doing it. Our cars were so close together, you know, like it was a tight spot on the street that I was at. You can see inside, you could see this person covering up their window. I don't know, like, I don't like people to see me do that. So, <laughs> so I ended up like, I like laid behind the blanket so that they couldn't see me. And <laughs> I just laid there and I didn't move. Like I didn't want to be sitting up. I didn't want to be crawling around. I could have gone to the front seat but um, I just, I don't know why, I just didn't feel like sitting in the front, I didn't feel like going in the front seat. So I just laid in the bed, made sure this big blanket covered me, and I was just on my phone and waiting for them to leave. And then as soon as they left, I put my covers up. And after that day, I was like, never again, I'm going to have my covers up already when I get to my sleeping spot. Then I head to my spot and get in bed and relax. The next day, I went grocery shopping. Spring mix, oranges, olive oil, basmati rice, yogurt, an onion, ginger, 
rice cakes. I went to the farmer's market and got some produce. All local. This is some summer squash. Eggplant. Garlic. Cherry tomatoes. This is, an, this is a mushroom. I love these mushrooms. I also bought some spices while I was out, so I'm going to fill up my spice jars. Once everything was put away, I filled up my water jug. My love, talk to me. <laughs> oh, okay. This was my first time filling up my water jug since cutting my finger, mm -hmm. and I was pretty nervous. I hadn't touched the jug since the day I cut my finger. So I was nervous about that and I was also just nervous because I know how heavy this thing, this thing gets when I fill it up with water. But it was time, I could no longer avoid this jug, so I did it and it actually worked out. It went better than I thought it would. Okay, I'm gonna remove the spigot and try again without the spigot. I think I'm just gonna have to be okay with some water loss. That spigot is just this is too heavy. Hi. I don't know. Get off water. This way was so much easier. I started out using the spigot because the water jug was super heavy and the water came out too fast in the beginning. But then once I got a good amount of water out, I took the spigot off and just poured the water in. So it went a lot faster once I took the little spigot off. And I think this will be the new way I fill up my water jug.
you can see, like this is the area that sliced my finger. I'm still super scared to touch this thing. <laughs> you might not be able to tell in the, from the video, but I'm very nervous to touch this thing. my first time filling up my water jug by myself it went way smoother than I expected even with all the mess that I made so far 10 gallons seems to be lasting me about 10 um, about two weeks 14 days which is excellent for me and I'm someone who drinks a lot of water every day and I use my Vitamix blender to make a lot of juices and smoothies almost every single day and I use a lot of water for that. I cook, I, you know, I wash my face, brush my teeth, wash my body every day. I use a good amount of water. Um, but 10 gallons has been lasting me about two weeks. ice cube tray. I've been loving this thing. It's silicone. It comes with this lid. It only fits six ice cubes but they make they make more. Like, but my freezer is always so stuffed anyways that I just did not have room for like a really big ice cube tray. So I got this six so I got this one with six little sections in it and it's been working nicely. Since I have water, a little bit of water left I'm gonna use some of that to make ice. This meal was the last fail of the week. It started out really good and everything tasted delicious until I cooked the rice. I cooked some brown basmati rice. I've cooked basmati rice a ton of times, but it's always the white rice. This time I cooked brown basmati rice in an instant pot and it just turned into mush. It was disgusting, it was horrible. It didn't even look like long grain rice, it looked like short grain rice or medium grain. I don't know, it did not look like basmati rice. So the meal was ruined, but it's all good. 
it happens sometimes. So I just finished the meal since I had already cooked most of it anyways. I just finished it and put everything up and that was my week. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I appreciate you watching my videos and I will see you next week. Bye.